Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy, and uh, in this video we're going to be looking at how to install Red Falcon's Mosquito Mark III helicopter mod. Look at this wonderful single seater. Now, he developed this um, for Deer Isle, um, but he's released it as a standalone mod as well. Uh, and also standalone in the fact that you don't need to install Red Falcon's Flight Systems helis. You can just install this and just have this one uh, lightweight helicopter on your server. What I really like about it is, uh, I guess, is the fact that it kind of kind of fits in with the theme of, of DayZ. You know, this is like a, a helicopter that someone could have made themselves, you know, a DIY helicopter. It's a little bit too clean. I wouldn't mind seeing a little bit more of a rusty kind of... Um, skin on it but i'm sure that will be coming um, but it, but it but it's really cool it flies just like all the other ones does um you can attach a sea chest and or a wooden crate to give it some um storage capacity um and uh, yeah it's 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 very very cool indeed now i've kind of put these things on the floor um because the Mosquito uses different parts to the other flight systems helis i mean i guess you know that's how you can run it on its own so in order to get one running you'll need to find uh you'll need to have a car battery um a couple of spark plugs the uh, mosquito drive belt mosquito wiring harness and the engine oil filter um and then you need to fuel it i think you fuel it up there or on the other side another two be one of those two where you fuel it um however there are these things in the files as well a replacement engine replacement mo rotor blades and uh, replacement tail rotor blades replacement fuel tanks and the replacement avionics so it could be that those modular parts sort of come into play at some point in the future but not quite now as we're uh, making this video so how to install it so let us uh, jump out of here and uh, obviously first things first as always you'll want to start off on steam and you'll want to subscribe to it um, now what I'm going to do in this video I'm going to show you how to install it basically by showing you myself installing it on my local server. So this is a server that runs on my local PC and I highly recommend if you're getting into Daisy uh, server modding, installing mods on your server, one of the first things you should get to know how to do is how to run and install a local server on your PC because this is like a test bench um, and it's much much faster um, adjusting things on a local server, you know, trying out mods, checking for compatibilities and things like that, and getting it working locally rather than getting it working um, in the cloud. You know, I've also got uh, FTP uh, FileZilla fired up here as well. So, you know, when you're in your FTP client and on the left hand side you've got your local drive, and then we're going to be, and then you copy things over to the right hand side. Well, for the sake of this video. That right hand side is really here. That's Daisy server. So that's on my local computer. So if we go in here, this is just as it would be um, in in the cloud. So once you've subscribed, you want to fire up the Daisy launcher. Um, you go into the mods, and it will download um, to your local PC. And where it actually ends up, it'll end up in the Daisy folder. So if you go to, it's normally something like program files, x86, Steam, Steam apps, common you'll find uh, Daisy, and you go in here, and you go into the workshop. All you need to do is you just need to copy Red Falcon's Mosquito. So you'd copy that. You go to your server folder, and you right click. You paste that there. That will then appear. And then you need to go into the mod, and you'll want the key. So you right click, copy the key, and you'll put that into your keys folder paste that that and this is all the same exactly the same as it would be on your on your server however what we need to do as well is we need to add the various xml snippets to make sure these helicopters spawn in and the accessories spawn in as well as well <coughs> excuse me so what you'll need to do you'll need to go to red falcon's github repository where he has his mosquito mark 3 config files which is pretty cool uh, I'll put links to all this in the description below the video. So you just go into the config file, and they're all here. So you can start at the top, and you've got your event spawn config. So if you click in here, and it will load up events. The internet seems to be going a little bit slow today. Very, very slow. Why is this going so slow? We are connected. 
gosh, that is going horrendous. Here we go. So as you can see, we've got a spawnable types entry and we've got an event entry and then we've got Cherneris and Deer Isle. So what you want to do is you want to open up your um, events.xml and your CFG spawnable types XML um, uh, files on your on your server. So you can either do that by downloading them or you could access them via the uh, via the web browsers. Um, I've downloaded mine, and so here we got CFG spawnable types. Um, and then what you can do, just go into CFG spawnable types, and you ignore the the first bit. You just want to copy all of these bits here. There we go, down to there. So we're kind of going from type RF mosquito to type, and you'd right click, you copy that. Go into your CFG spawnable types. As you can see, yeah, I've pasted it here. I've also added a couple of remarks, mosquito entries. And this is basically telling the game that um, when a, a mosquito spawns in, uh, it should sp spawn in with a chance of a headlight, a chance of an oil filter, a drive belt, wiring harness, chance of two spark plugs, and a chance of a car battery. Now, if you wanted it so that they spawned in ready to go, you would change these chances to 1.00. So if you change them all to 1.00, it means that when one spawns in, it'll spawn with everything ready to go, apart from fuel. You'll, you'll still need to fuel it. So that's that one. And so the next thing we want to have a look at is the events. So if we click on there, and then you open up the events on your local, on your on your server, and then we just need that bit there. So you copy that. Here we go. I've opened up my events, and I've already already copy and pasted it in just put it right at the top and this is telling the game how many um, how many of these uh, mosquitoes should you spawn in so it says the normal one is three should be between two and five and basically so you, you probably have three of them spawning in and um, when the event fires up it will spawn in as that so the mosquito spawns in an uh, in as an event not as um, just ordinary loot that you find around the map so it's spawning in like a uh, helicopter crash wood or a um, car wood, you know, that, that sort of stuff. Um, so next what we want to do is we want to have a look at, uh, if we go into the Cherneris file, so we've got the CFG event spawns, and this basically is just saying this is where we want on Cherneris, we want the helicopters to spawn in, um, and so what you do is you can copy that and then go into your CFG event spawns. As you can see, I've spawned these in at the top. And you've got vehicle heli spawn at Viber, uh, Prison Island, military base Tizzy, military base Viber. Um, and then what you need to do is we need to change this name over. So vehicle RFM mosquito spawn. So I'm going to copy that, change that to the event spawn. There we go. So the mosquitoes are going to spawn at those particular places. Well, two of them will probably will, will be, so it gives us a chance of people going around to, to actually find them. And then we've got the types.xml, which we click on. And if you click on here, you've got to want to copy all of these. And you'd right click, copy that, open up your types.xml, and you want to uh, paste them in at the top. So as you can see, each one is a particular type. Now what's interesting about this is, is that Red Falcon hasn't put any values in. Now you wouldn't put any values in for the mosquito, because as I said before, the mosquito spawns in as an event. Um, so uh, you, know, you would leave that at zero. However, and the wreck as well, However, things like the, the wiring harness, if you want to spawn it in as loot so that people have to find them, you would have to change the, the nominal and the minimum. So it's so, something like that. Um, they've got tools industrial found on the floor, so that's all good. Count in the map, and you would do that, and you would go through for all of the items that are needed to get the aeroplane flying. You could add them all in, and so on and so forth. Uh, you've got the toolbox, the engine oil. The replacement engine, you'll have to decide on the avionics whether you want them to spawn in or not. They don't actually do anything at the moment, but when they do, you'd want to add them, you know, five and two, or something like that. So then you can save all those files. 
and then what we need to do is we need to now to need to make sure that our server will start um, with the uh, when it by firing up the uh, the uh, the mod. So you want to go into your batch file for a local server. So we do. Let's open up this one. And so as you can see, we've got our start line here. If we scroll along, we can see this bit. So we've got mod. Uh, so my local server with this batch file starting off with community framework, zombie admin tools, Red Falcon's flight system, helis, the full helicopters, and Red Falcon Mosquito Mark II. So when we when we double click that to start the server, that will then fire up. Now this is the bit that's different when you're um, working on a remote server. So all those things we've been being copying and pasting the files across, um, it's all the same sort of stuff. So within an FTP program, you would go right click, you would upload the um, mod to the uh, directory for your server, you would go to the keys, and you would upload the. Uh, oops. So you would go to the keys there, and you would upload the RFSS Heli's bike key to the keys folder there. And then those edited XMLs, um, you'd probably edit them uh, by downloading them actually first or accessing them via your file browser. So for example, you would be going into your file browser here. This is Nitrado, going into Daisy. Going into the missions folder. Generous Plus, and then going into say a CFG event spawns, and then copy and pasting the the C, the the event spawns into there. However, the bit that's slightly different is how we start up the server with the um, with the mod. In the fact that with as Nitrido servers and lots of other servers, you don't have direct access often to the batch file that starts the server you you just don't have access to it but it will be in your general settings um, and you'll often see a line like this that says additional mods so this is where you would put in semicolon at red falcon mosquito mark 2 so when the server restarts it's telling it look i want you to start with roughly red falcon's mosquito mark 2 um, and then then it would load it up that way um, so there we go hopefully you found that useful um, and again I said it at the beginning of the video but I highly 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 recommend if you want to get into modding um, your server and putting lots of different mods on your server having a local server that you can play around with is so much much so much faster than mucking around with a remote one and you can make sure everything works before you go ahead and, and put it on your other server so there we go. Hope you found that useful. If you have it, like, once and more, the same, press subscribe. And I'll, of course, see you again soon.